got herself a new vehicle. Got herself a tow rig, weekend driver, a little bit of everything. I was looking for a truck for a long time. Trucks are ridiculous price. These are ridiculous price. Finally found one that was uh, in good shape and what we were looking for. We'll be able to do what we wanted to do. It's uh, really good shape. It's a 2009. flex fuel so you already know we run nothing but E85 in it uh, we got the third row at the house I got it out right now I want to get a mat for back there I probably never use them too much but, um, a straight real straight truck clean just washed it but Never did make a video. I've had it for a little while now. Put 5,000 miles on it. We got it. It had uh, 113 on it. Uh, we got a good deal on it compared to the market today. These are the ones built in Texas. So, leather's really good shape. It's a nice truck. I really like it, guys. I was gonna wait and to post it until we got the, the trailer with it, but we've been having a hard time, just like the truck, trying to find a trailer. Everything's just like hard to find right now. The only thing I'm gonna do to this is buy new headlights on it, and I gotta buy new uh, sensors for the air pressure, so anything that's wrong with it. AC works great in it. It has no dings or bangs in it. It's a little dusty. I never got a chance to clean it. I got it from the people they never cleaned it. But it's no oil, there's no oil leaks anywhere in the, in the truck. It's really clean. I just gotta clean it down. I'm gonna pay my one buddy to detail it what he does so something I don't do but, yeah that's a clean clean truck you guys can see it is washed it but there's no rust on it or anything like that it's not rusted at all Wasn't driven in that kind of weather. We're the second owners of it, so. It's nice. Nice people we got it from. Like I said, been driving it for a while now. And uh, I love it. I would actually buy another one. One for towing and just one for a weekend cruiser. I like to get a Corvette, but one of these in a GMC Denali. 6.2 liter, might have to do it. <laughs> but yeah, we are up to uh, 118 now. Truck has 118, 325 now on it. We've done put uh, 5,000 miles on it since we got it. Wanted to drive it around and see how it was, and so far I only had a, two little things that I've done. I'd like to get maybe, uh, I think we're gonna get brakes and rotors, something for uh, recommend it for towing. Cause we'll be towing with this. Looking for a trailer, like I said, I think yesterday, I made a video of the first clip yesterday. I figure I'd take you a little ride in it today. Hopefully there's no wind noise because of the 
AC being on, but it's so hot. <laughs> The truck runs nice. And these are bumpy roads. But you climb it and turn the back on if you want. And turn your stability off if you want. Park assist you can turn off. I'm not even sure what that is. And you got the sticker's not there no more, but you push that button and that's your tow home mode. And then if you put it in manual, you can shift it manually. With that, I gotta get a tire pressure sensor for it. It's everything that's uh, coming up on it. I bought it was like that. So front tires, I'm gonna change those. Back's brand new, but I want to get the same pattern for the back. They're the same size, but different pattern. I don't like that, so I'm gonna change that out. Truck runs good though. Quiet. Unless the AC's blowing in the mic the whole time, which could possibly be happening right now. <laughs> but I mean, it's clean. I haven't really got a chance to clean it. I should have cleaned it for the video inside, but. See the LTZ right there where the this has got the dim light. They have the DVD player, which I wanted an LTZ, but couldn't find one. I wanted like eighteen thousand for one that had this one had one hundred and thirteen thousand miles on it. And I was trying to find something even less miles, but they wanted so much for them. I ended up getting this one a really good deal. really good deal so through a private deal I checked everything everywhere real good that's the only thing and I drove it like I said for 5,000 miles I wanted to show you guys with the trailer on it but it's so hard to find a trailer right now so I was like well I better show everybody the, the truck I mean it rides good I mean these roads are bumpy I mean it The LTZ also has the DVD player up here, you know, and the backup camera. So this don't have the backup camera or and the DVD player or the DVD player in the back, which I can live without. It has everything else. Uh, don't have the. You can get a 6.0 with like a 6.0 with a hybrid. You know, I didn't want one of those. The 6.2 comes into the, the Denali, but. Seems like every Denali, I believe, is all-wheel drive, and I didn't want an all-wheel drive for towing. Being an all-wheel drive mode all the time, it's just gonna wear on it. We got deer. Where I live, that's what you gotta watch out for. There's the baby right there. But yeah, I mean, the truck runs good. quiet some people have done ask me when I'm gonna put a turbo on it <laughs> and if I did I'm not saying I wouldn't may be nice to have a supercharger on it more than anything but nah if I did turbo it it would literally just be for hauling and like three or four pounds of boost but I don't think it needs it I'd rather just keep it all stock less problems the better you know this one's the 5.3 flex fuel. But it gets, uh, I'm getting the average around, around 15 with it. The average of its life going through the system right here is getting 12 and a half miles at a gallon. A friend of mine, his family has always owned tall hose and he told me they get about 12 and a half miles, but with the 85, plus I drive slow, it uh, really getting decent gas mileage. I should reset it all. Thing, it's uh, in its life, it's used 9,000 gallons of fuel. Isn't that crazy? 9,000 gallons.
<laughs> but yeah, it runs good. It's clean. You know, nothing's all like scratched up or nothing like that. And of course, it's four wheel drive. I wouldn't buy it if it's not. I'm not even gonna drive it in the winter. I'm not even gonna, I mean, four wheel drive, I just wanna have it. If I have to, I'll use it, but I really don't wanna drive it. It's real clean. I think I showed you a little bit underneath of it. It's a clean car or truck. Or in this state, they uh, classify them as a wagon, which is cool because with a wagon, you use car tag and uh, you don't have to uh, pay the extra tag fee in my state they have different fees for like half ton truck three quarter and ton truck you know ton truck is almost like a hundred bucks I think now or 110 bucks a year I think uh, half tons like 75 and then regular trucks like 65 or something like that I could have that all wrong I just know it's a lot more than a car tag and this runs a car tag and then you don't have no sticker or nothing up there of how much weight you can haul or anything so this will pull an 18 foot trailer and the Tiburon, you know, the Mistress, which is the car we really bought it for for right now. But then we got the Mustang, I want to start building in the RSX. So those three cars will be able to fit on that trailer comfortably and I'll be able to get them to where I need to go. You know. Goal is to have the Mistress in the nines and Mustang running good numbers. Probably won't even tell numbers on that thing. I'm just gonna be secretive on that thing. <laughs> but yeah. Then the RSX will go all wheel drive with that. The CRV stuff, the wagon stuff, so hard to find. A friend of mine did say, uh, his cousin has a wagon, so I'd like to maybe try to buy that. I don't know if I can or not, because he don't like to sell cars. So Hopefully we get a trailer soon, and we can go to Atco, uh, Cecil County, uh, Maple Grove, Beaver, Logo Track, Mason Dixon. Uh, there's a track out by Pittsburgh. I can't think of the name of it right now. It's not too far from me, like two hours from me. Go out there. Uh, I want to try some different tracks, you know. Probably even go out to Ohio. Maybe have some different events. Streetcar takeover events or something. Might as well. I'm going to try to make a trip to Florida happen when the car is fully built with the transmissions, axle, well, the transmission, axle, um, motor. I have to get a pan for it and everything. Diaper, as they call it. You get something built. So these different tracks, MRI, you know, they're there. MRI probably run just a just a good number is in Florida to be honest with you so MRI will probably be more likely this year hopefully but that's the goals anyway and I think this truck will do it you know it's so far so good I do want to this winter probably put the upgrade the suspension try to see if they got anything for uh, you know hauling more heavier duty but we'll see what I can get on that I'm definitely going to get brakes and rotors on heavier duty get that done once I get that stuff I'll show you but so far so good I enjoy the truck wife loves it so She loves it too because it's an automatic, so she can drive it, you know. It's all she drives is autos, so she gets to drive it, which is good. Wouldn't mind even having another one. We might get another one. 
I really want to get a C6 Corvette just for cruising, not building it up. You know, you could always do, yeah, you know, it's little small things, of course, but nothing crazy. Just something for me and her to go out and uh, hit the back roads and have fun in the corners and uh, take little long trips in it, you know, weekend trips. But one of these wouldn't be bad either. I like these in an LTZ or a Denali. I like the LTZ, actually. But this truck runs good. No power. I mean, no power. <laughs> Plenty of power. And I'm not even giving it... That's like a... Not even a quarter throttle. A gas. And we're going up... A hell of a steep incline. There's no problem going up the mountains. Shift's fine. I don't know if you guys can hear all that. Probably not, but there's no problem going the mountains. I love it. Definitely a nice truck. 5.3. No oil leaks in it. Nothing. Definitely going to enjoy it. Maybe sometime Put a cam in it and a few other things. Get a little bit of power, HP tuners. You know, get a dyno tune. I won't even have to buy the HP tuner stuff, but get a dyno tune and, uh, you know, just get a little torque out of it maybe sometime for, for hauling. Who knows? Might just let it stock. I think it'll be plenty fine, just stock. Stock's better, in my opinion. <laughs> All right, I'm rambling. Thanks for watching if you actually stuck around.